Well, not long ago, vast tracts of the Russian subarctic were covered in permafrost. That has now turned into wet bogland, the result of clo global climate change, which is creating significant problems for industry in the area. Oleg Boldarev joined a scientific expedition in western Siberia to see the problem at first hand. Looking for hard data in very soft ground. The researcher walks over a swamp to collect samples of lake water in the tundra laying above Russian permafrost. There are more and more of such swamps and lakes. And here is what worries scientists most. Methane, a greenhouse gas 20 times more powerful than CO2. The bubbles may be small, but the new lakes are emerging everywhere. Satellite images show the formation of new lakes. On the ground, samples need to be taken from lakes of different size and age. Dark, peaty water in this baby lake warms up under the sun, and so the melting begins. Well, this is how it starts. The shallow depression in the ground is the beginning of a new lake, the lake which will be growing. And as it grows, it will release more and more methane. The same thing happens all over western Siberia. Now, 60% of Russian area is covered by permafrost, and the amounts of methane which are now stored locked underneath the surface are said to be around 80 billion tons. Opinions differ on how much gas escapes each year. But it's a spiraling process. Once in the sky, methane aggravates global warming, and so even bigger areas of tundra get covered by lakes. All these may mean bad news for Russia's main industry. Underneath this seemingly untouched land run huge gas pipelines. And here's one of them, pushed onto the surface by shifting unstable ground. Unofficially, there is talk of increasing accidents like this, though on the record, Russia's Gazprom says its operations are not affected. But according to some researchers, the best-case scenario means simply having enough time to adapt to the new environment. It's taking place now, and uh, we are too late, to my mind, with decision-making, because uh, this process was started and uh, now we have not any opportunity to stop it. Uh, we have only a time to delay it, maybe, to make the results less horrible. Seventy years ago, cities and industries of the Russian north were literally drilled into permafrost. Back then, things indeed seemed permanent. But now this wobbly ground may become a symbol of new, unpredictable climate conditions for the world's largest country. Oleg Boldarev, BBC News, Western Siberia.